Well, hi friends. Today it is a very rainy winter day, but I am going to be sprucing up our little guest cottage for springtime, adding a few minimal touches, finally taking down my Christmas pillows and winter greens. I kind of forgot that the Christmas pillows were there and so that was on me for not getting those out of there. But winter decor is being removed and I keep it very minimal in our guest cottage as it is an Airbnb, an overnight rental, and I don't want a lot of clutter in the space as it is a 450 square foot space. But I was ready to add some faux florals, bring some of my spring-like touches back into the space and some more colorful pillows and just a few nice touches to liven up the space for the upcoming March. these faux florals I got last year from Walmart in their dollar section so you can tell they are fake but it's not something that I'm too worried about in our guest cottage I just wanted a vintage lace piece on our antique table with the more modern vase and some faux florals I still had some pine cones and red and gold Christmas balls in my blue mason jars so I just emptied those out into the bag and then also removed these wooden green trees and am playing with what I want for decorations on this shelf here. So I have this old pitcher. It usually has a wash basin underneath it, but I thought I'd use that on the shelf and then I changed my mind because I wanted to correlate the blue on the top shelf with the blue on the bottom shelf. I went with another tall blue ball mason jar. I find these all the time at rummages for super cheap. Um, I definitely would wait till rummage season to look for those antique stores Eight to twelve dollars is what I find them for at antique stores and at garage sales. They're a dollar or two, and I just put in some faux white tulips. These are the best tulips I have found on Amazon, and I have multiples of those. But I just loved the blue on blue on those shelves, and just spruced it up and made it bright and cheery. A small touch of another vintage pitcher with some faux lavender and then I just bent a few more of these white tulips and added a few of those into this pitcher. I want to keep the vanity clear for the well the bathroom vanity clear for people to use as again it is a guest space people bring things and put their bathroom essentials on the counter space there. All right, I started some seedlings about a week and a half ago and my cabbage, snapdragons, and basil, or basil, sorry, broccoli are coming up. And so I am planting some herbs today, some parsley and cilantro. Now I've tried cilantro before and have not had any luck with that, but we're gonna see how it goes. And then I'm also just gonna plant some more snapdragons because they are one of my favorites and I love starting them from seed and just getting such a beautiful variety. If you haven't seen any of my garden videos, definitely check out that playlist um, over, I'll put it down below for you actually so you can check it out um, for my cottage garden videos because I like to start my florals if I can from seed as well. So just getting some more of that itch for spring, getting some seeds started, and um, getting ready for that time of the year when it's gonna go on the ground. Mm -hmm. 
So on this particular day, it is actually Valentine's Day when I am filming this for you. So I'm going to be making a sourdough chocolate brownie recipe thanks to Lisa at Farmhouse on Boone. And so I tweak it, of course, to my own liking a little bit. I did reduce the sugar some and use dark chocolate chips instead of semi-sweet, but I'll link the recipe for you. But it just, I thought, would be a fun little treat to have for my husband and I for Valentine's Day. And so I made that um, in the afternoon here. melted the butter, chocolate chips, and added my homemade vanilla to that mixture. And then I'm doing my eggs and sourdough sugar and the dry ingredients in my bowl here. And then just getting all that mixed together, just thinking how delicious this will be. I am definitely a chocolate lover. So this recipe goes over well for me, of course. And I just appreciate the health factor with the sourdough in it. And like I said, I reduce the amount of sugar and I use cane sugar or maple syrup or honey usually in all my baking as a sweetener just to um, be a little bit more health conscious. And also I did use white flour, but I use um, an organic white flour just to, again, kind of with that health benefit of not using the enriched all-purpose unbleached, that type of flour. So this was a delicious decadent dessert um that turned out pretty well a little bit dry and that could have been on me for doing that so i might have to make it again and see if it isn't so dry the next time While the brownies are baking, I had done some slow cooker yogurt the day before and so I actually had to stick it in the fridge for a while to strain and I have just been using a tea towel to strain it in a colander into just a big Dutch oven pot and so just straining my yogurt, getting that done. I love having my raw milk yogurt and hopefully I'll be sharing a recipe for that on my blog soon as well. I can't forget to keep the way to make smoothies with as well. So the brownies, pulling them out of the oven, they make the house smell so delicious. And just thinking how blessed I am to be able to make such a treat. And after I pulled those out of the oven and the husband came home from work, he had brought a dozen red roses home for me. So what a fun little Valentine's treat for us to be able to enjoy the beauty of roses and the decadence of a wonderful dessert and so I just feel so blessed to have such a loving spouse and enjoy um, the family we have created the the community of our home that we have the love in our home and that I can be a homemaker and care for our children and be able to care for our home and um, that he just added a nice touch with these beautiful red roses to this space. The girls are in bed and it is time for me to enjoy a couple of these brownies with my red raspberry leaf tea and yes note the mug but i hope you enjoyed coming along today on this shorter little bit of homemaking video